Anthony now plays for one of the biggest club in the world at just 22 years old. His transfer to United is the biggest in not only Ajax, but also Eredivisie history. He hit the ground running for United, scoring on his debut against Arsenal, and now he's a regular in the Brazil squad, and almost certain to make his first ever World Cup appearance at the end of the year. Everything seems to be going great for Anthony, but here's the thing, it's not always been that great. As a matter of fact, he has a pretty inspirational come up story, so if you ever feel like giving up in life, pay attention to Anthony's incredible life story. He was born in Sao Paulo, home to some of the biggest Brazilian football stars including Cafu, Gabriel Jesus and Neymar. He grew up in Osasco, in a slum far away from the center of the city which was nicknamed Infeninho, Portuguese for Little Hell. From the name alone, you would probably have an idea of what it was like growing up there. There was immorality, poverty and crime. It literally was hell. The community was notorious for drug dealing so the police would randomly raid the neighborhood and that would often lead to shootouts. Not the penalty kind, but gun kind. But the boy found football early and held on to it. Even that wasn't easy though, because of how poor his parents were, they couldn't afford to buy him boots and kits so he would just be on the streets playing football barefoot most of the time. Anyway, a little breakthrough came when he was just 10 years old. He was offered a contract by Sao Paulo and subsequently inducted into their academy. But he was not happily ever after from there. The boy really struggled in his early years and the manager wasn't very keen on him, so he very nearly dismissed Anthony on a few occasions. But the staff always convinced the manager to keep him on. Apart from the potential which they saw in him, staff members just liked the little kid and knew that he could be more. So he remained in the Sao Paulo youth team and kept trying to work his way up. It took him some time to prove himself, but he eventually did. When he was 18, he was named tournament best player as he helped his team to victory in the J-League Challenge Tournament in Japan. That happened in September 2018 and in the same month, he was promoted to the first team but it still wasn't happy ever after from there. He made his debut for the Sao Paulo senior team in November 2018 and was immediately demoted to the under 20s after that. It was heartbreaking for teenage Anthony at the time. He thought he had made his big break, but he had to head back down and strive to make it back up to the top. But little did he know that this was a blessing in disguise. He focused on developing himself and working hard. He featured in the Copa Sao Paulo de Futebol Junior and ended up being his team's most important player as they went on to win the tournament. He scored four goals and provided six assists in his nine appearances and was named best player of the tournament. The manager of the senior team saw those performances and immediately brought him back to the first team. Anthony started seeing more game time and slowly became a regular in the Sao Paulo first team. Then, when he was 20, Ajax came calling, so he had to make a huge sacrifice, leaving his family, including his little son, who had not even started walking back in Brazil, and moved to Europe on his own for the very first time, with nothing but a dream to make it all the way to the top. And that dream was off to a flying start as he scored on his official debut for Ajax. Just two months after that, he scored his first ever UEFA Champions League goal. The Brazilian winger ended his first season in Europe with double figures for goals and assists, including a goal in the KNVB Cup final, helping Ajax complete a domestic double. Things kept on going great for him until the international break in March when he suffered a bad injury to his ankle. That kept him on the sidelines until the end of the season. But the performances he had already put in were enough to make big clubs start chasing him. He ended the 2021-22 season with 22 direct goal contributions in 33 appearances, so it wasn't at all surprising that he was widely sought after in the summer. He returned from injury in August at the start of the new season, and that was when he expressed that he wanted to leave Ajax to go and join his former coach at Man United. Ajax rejected a number of bids from the Reds because they wanted to keep the Brazilian star so badly. But Anthony really wanted to leave, so he protested by failing to turn up for training and then doing an interview where he laid it all bare. He talked about how the move was supposed to happen in February, but he decided to be patient with the club until summer so that they could find a replacement for him. He also said that Ajax tried to renew his contract and improve the terms, but it was not about the cash for him, he just wanted to follow his dreams. 
Then on the 30th of August 2022, he was allowed to follow those dreams. On that day, Ajax announced that they had finally reached an agreement with United for the transfer of the Brazilian forward. Then two days later, he penned a five-year deal with the English Giants and became the club's third most expensive signing behind Paul Pogba and Romelu Lukaku. But he'll be hoping to do much better than those other big money signings and you have to say, he is off to a fine start with one goal in one Premier League appearance so far. This is the story of how a young boy named Anthony came from the slums and conquered many obstacles including crime, poverty and injury to make it all the way to one of the biggest clubs in the world. No matter what happens from here, one thing will always be true, Anthony has come a really long way and is currently living his dream. So if you ever feel like giving up, just remember Anthony's story and get back to your grind. If he can make it, then so can you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.